Before we look at the power management, there are two options when shutting down a computer running Windows 7. If we click on Start, then on the selector to the right of Shutdown, we shall find Shutdown or Sleep. Shutdown means that Windows prompts the user if it should save any open files, then forces closure of all running applications. We can see this in the following example. Here we have created a new text file. And typed in some text. Now we select shut down. Here we are prompted to save the file. Since we did not respond to this message, Windows can force this application to close and proceed to shut down. Sleep on the other hand has been designed to save energy on desktop computers and extend the life of the battery in notebooks and laptops. When sleep mode is used all the data, files, folders, applications are saved to RAM which makes it extremely quick. The time it takes the PC to restart or shut down is seconds. The slower part is waking up the peripherals. Although the machine is in sleep, the power has been cut to items such as the hard drive and monitor. This mode can be useful if you're on a notebook or laptop and need to conserve your battery whilst you step away. However, you wouldn't want to keep it in this mode for more than several hours. The first issue is that even though you're in low power consumption state, you're still using power. The bigger reason is once your power goes, so does your data. The big drawback to using sleep only is you run the risk of losing whatever data you are working on if the power goes out. To prevent this, sleep can monitor the life of the internal battery on a notebook or laptop. When a predetermined level is detected, Windows engages Hibernate. Hibernate, like sleep mode, recovers your place from where you left it. The big difference is that the PC has shut down and is not drawing power. Another difference is that the data is saved to the hard drive and not RAM. This makes it safer, but a slower option for shutdown and resume. Hibernate saves the desktop and any open files to a special Windows file. The file size closely matches how much RAM is in the computer. If there is 3 gigs of RAM, then Hibernate will use about 3 gigs of hard drive space. When the power button is pressed, Windows will start and open the files that were being used. The process is not instantaneous as with the sleep mode but it gets the user to the same place when they suspend Windows. This option can be faster than rebooting as Windows doesn't have to do things such as detecting the hardware. Power management stretches the battery life on laptops can reduce the electrical usage on a desktop computer. To access the power management navigate to the control panel click on hardware and sound, then power options. Windows 7 provides three default plans to help manage desktop or laptop power consumption. In some cases the third option may be hidden, so click on the selector found at the side. Here we can see three options, balanced, high performance and power saver. Balance offers full performance when needed and saves power during periods of inactivity. This means it has been optimised to give the best energy saving for the best performance. It should be pointed out that when using a notebook laptop power plan the energy will be battery saving. Power saving saves power by reducing system performance. Therefore this setting will use less energy or battery power but will reduce the performance and high performance that maximizes system performance and responsiveness but at the cost of energy or battery power. We can switch through these plans. As an example you may be using a laptop on mains power so the balance plan has been selected. But now you're on the move and you need to save the battery power so you switch to power saver to conserve energy. Under each of these plans we can make change plan settings thus giving us more control over the power plan. We shall return to this a little later. On the left we have some further options. The first is require a password on wake up 
and this will take you to the same system settings as the next which is choose what the power button does. The default setting is when you press the power button the computer will shut down. If we click on the selector to the right of this a drop down menu will appear. To show how this works we should select do nothing then click on save changes. At this point we shall press the power button. As we can see nothing has happened. This can be useful if the power button is easily accessible and prone to being pushed. Or you do not wish the user to be able to power down the computer using the power button. An alternative is sleep or hibernate. We shall reset this back to the default settings. Then save. The next option is create a power plan. So first we select the plan that is nearest to what we want to do. Then enter a name for the plan. In our example we have renamed it as Dave's power plan. We shall be given the option on when to turn off the display and this is programmable from one minute to never. And also when to put the computer to sleep. When this has been selected, we can create the power plan. Now we can change plan settings. Once again, we have an option to adjust the settings to turn off the display and put the computer to sleep. Let's look at change advanced power settings. At the top, we can select between different plans. The first option is require a password on wake up. Since the user of this computer has not entered a password, this option has been greyed out. But if a password has been used, then we should be able to set this to yes for a password or no password. We can finally tune other devices to conserve even more energy or battery power. We may, for instance, wish to change how the wireless adapter behaves when it enters the power plan. Maximal performance, low power saving, medium power saving or maximum power saving. Further down the list is the sleep option. If we expand this, we can see further options on how to configure the sleep mode. The computer goes into sleep mode after 30 minutes. Once again, this is totally programmable. Allow hybrid sleep. This means that after a period in sleep mode, if the computer still remains inactive, then it is forced into hibernation. It is possible, and in some cases preferable, to use hibernation instead of sleep due to the danger of losing data. An important setting is the allow wake timers. This allows certain daily routines to take place and this could be backing up data, scanning for spyware or viruses or searching the internet for updates. One setting that can be configured that is not applicable to desktop PCs is the power button and lid. The lid of a computer can be set as do nothing, sleep, hibernate or shut down. So if the lid of the notebook or laptop is closed, then it will follow how this option is configured. Once the advanced settings have been completed, the user clicks on Apply, then OK. To delete a plan, you should select one of the other plans first, then click on Change Plan Settings that you wish to delete, then click on Delete this plan. If we look at Windows 8, to shut down the computer, we can hold down the Windows key, then press the I key as shown here. And this will bring up this side menu. If we click on the power button, you will see the options Sleep, Shut Down and Restart. If we click on the Start screen, then right click, we can bring up the Apps button. By clicking on this, then scrolling to the right, we shall find the Control Panel. Click on Hardware and Sound, then on Power Options. Here we can see a few minor changes, but the power options are basically the same. Windows Vista has the basic shutdown routine, but also includes Hibernate and Sleep on the Start menu. Accessing the power options is the same as it is in Windows 7.